forced to unleash a fury upon you like... Uh, Rusk lady, wh what? Why are you wielding a wingtip? <laughs> wingtip? What? I, the, the jackal feared that he'd walk in and find a... A client's disgruntled spouse lying in wait is... Oh, Spinelli, do I look like the marrying kind? <laughs> Drop the ship. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, what were you looking for? A writing implement. I was trying to leave you a note, but the, you know, the filing system that you have uh, devised with Sam is devoid of all logic, so of course I've had to rifle through every drawer trying to find what I need, and I still can't find it, so uh, perhaps maybe you could, you could help me find... Uh, said writing implement. <laughs> oh, well. If it were a snake, it would have bit me. <laughs> yeah, a, a note seems redundant now that the jackal's here in the flesh. Excellent point. So, I, uh, as you know, am working on the Abby Haver defense, and I've come to find out where we are in terms of proving she was framed. The jackal is not at liberty to discuss Stone Cold's plan of action. Spinelli. You know that any conversation between us is covered by attorney-client privilege. There's no need to keep up the pretense. It's very clear that you are not here to help Abby. You came here to pilfer the Jackal's private files. I've been self-absorbed, and I haven't shown you the attention that you deserve. I promised you a do-over honeymoon, and I promised to take you on a dream vacation. Your destination of choice, I haven't delivered. You're upset. This is not just your life you're trashing. It's mine, too. We're in this together. What happened to those vows we took? I meant every word of them. I meant them then. I meant them now. I love you, Tracy. Great. Prove it. What? By checking myself into Shady Brook. I'm committed to you. Isn't that enough? Luke, I can't help you. I don't know how. And I can't bear to watch you kill yourself. And you won't be satisfied until you do. Well, you know, I mowed down a four-year-old and I kept driving. Some would say the only justice would be for me to be laying in the ground next to him. You mean Jason? So you're going to make yourself an easy target? No, Jason has already made it clear that he's not going to put me out of my misery. So you're stuck with me. Just open the door and let me get on with whatever the hell is left of my life. I am through enabling you. And until you get help, you are not welcome here or at home. And don't even try to access my money because it's all been moved. You only have one option, Luke. Get help. What a disappointment you are. Along with everybody else. If you've got a plan to keep me from being deported, I would love to hear it, because I'm short on ideas and time. Well, I have some business contacts in Washington. Now, I'm not making any promises, but they may be able to push through a visa for you. Well, how much would a fever like that cost? You wouldn't have to worry about it. Well, I'd, I'd like to know if it's even worth the trouble. Well, if it keeps you in the country, it's, it's worth it. Well, to you, maybe, but your brother's the one that it'll be setting back. Money's not an issue here. That's right. I forgot you're a prince. Nicholas offered to help. I don't see the harm in taking him up on it. If it doesn't work, we can always go down to the Justice of the Peace and get married before you're deported. Well, hopefully it won't come to that. I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything. All right. I hope you feel appropriately flattered. That your brother Nicholas is willing to intercede on my behalf? No, that I'm willing to let him. I usually tell my prince of a brother to keep his money and influence to himself. But I'm willing to make an exception if it means you can stay in the country as long as you like. I think you doesn't seem like enough after all you've done for me. Come on. What? Where are we going? You'll see. Those, 
Um, Dance moves and this scrunchie were both very popular in the 80s. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry about your shirt. Okay. I didn't like it much anyway. No, no, you know what? I bet I bet I could get that out if I if I if I saw no, no, that. No, no, it's so okay. It's all right here. Take, and just take off the shirt, okay? Believe me, you're a doctor. I'm a mother. You got nothing going on under that shirt that I have not seen before. Ah, a chicka boom, chicka boom, boom. Ah, guess he used to work out. Huh? Ah, a chicka boom, chicka boom, boom. Ah. Hey. Hi. How was your first day back? Um, this is the extent of it. Stephen wanted to ease me in slowly, which is fine. Anything's better than being sent home. <laughs> yeah. Steve knows that you're a capable nurse. He just doesn't want you pushing yourself too hard when you're still dealing with everything that's happened. See, nobody seems to understand, except for Maxie, oddly enough, that I will never stop dealing with what happened. I just need to find a way to keep moving. And the first step is coming back to work, right? So I can focus on my patients and not, not how empty I feel with that Jake around. I really wish I could do more for you. No, please, you helped me out so much. Thank you for having Cameron and Aiden overnight. Oh, no, the Spencer loves having all the sleepovers. I just didn't want you having to go pick them up from daycare and fix them dinner when you're working a long shift like this. That's just too much to handle. You mean it's too much for me to handle? Because when I get overloaded, I tend to turn my back and I don't see my children walking out the front door. Elizabeth, please stop blaming yourself. You can tell Stephen that I'm doing fine and that he doesn't need to send you to check up on me. Uh, actually, I was hoping to leave Steve a message. Could you just tell him that I can't make the board meeting because I have a conference call with the Justice Department. Justice Department? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I'm uh, pulling in every favor ever owed to me. I'm trying to get Siobhan a visa so Lucky doesn't have to marry her. Oh, I thought that you okay. like surprises. Well, you didn't say anything about being blindfolded, so... <laughs> Kathy? Uh, not the first word that comes to mind. Well, it's no worse than that room we rented in Galway with the peeling paint and the paper-thin walls. We were hiding out from the Balkans men. Well, I think of this as, as us hiding out from the world. Okay. The minute you walk through that door, no one else exists. It's just the two of us. Left to fend for ourselves in a musty old cabin. Well, I'd love to be sitting on a beach somewhere, feeling the warm breeze blowing off the water. But unlike your brother, I wasn't born with a title. This is all I could afford. And seeing as how I don't have much time to be saving up for something nicer, I... We say, do our best to enjoy it. You're trying to distract me, aren't you? From my dad's drinking, from... Oh, no, you're, you're, you're giving me far too much credit. All I'm interested in is getting you to myself with no fear of someone walking in or interrupting. I totally understand the concept of tough love and setting limits. I just don't think that it would work for my dad because he's never followed rules. He makes an effort to break them and I, I just don't see rehab being any different. I know, I'm making excuses, I'm enabling him. I just wanna know how to fix this. Well, maybe that's a problem. I mean, maybe it's not yours to fix. You and Lucky and Tracy, you've said a bit and now the ball's in Luke's court and he's gonna make the next play. So I'm supposed to go on with my life, forget about my dad? No, I didn't say you forget about your dad. You just focus on something else for a while. Instead of sitting here and Kelly's getting wigged out on coffee every morning. Okay, do you have a suggestion? Yeah, let's, let's go do something. Something you've never done before. Yeah, let's, let's check out a Yankees game or something. Now, whenever I go to a game, I can I can shut up my entire life for at least nine innings. And it's great. You, you deal with the, the most insane highs and the most crushing disappointments all rolled into one. Oh, we're talking about baseball? Yeah, baby, we're talking about baseball. Come on, the Red Sox are going to be in town next week. That's like one of the best rivalries in sports. I, I can, we can go to the game early. I'll uh, introduce you to players and tell you who's who to root for. Red Sox. 
Are you trying to break up with me right now? It's not right the Red Sox? No, no. It's the Yankees, but you can sit by yourself. Oh. I'll get my own seat so you can make friends. Okay, you will? Hi, Gilm Drop. It's good to see you. Listen, I hope you know that I don't hold that idiotic intervention against you. Never.